So what do you think, Dad? That's good. Great. Yeah. Very fast. So in this video, we're going to be looking at something a lot different. We're going to be looking at the Ad Motor Grand Tan 340 trike. Now, the reason for this is because of my dad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so the last few years, my dad has begun to lose some of his mobility and he loves to ride his bike. It's getting harder though to balance and so we began looking at trikes and one of the trikes that came up because of the good componentry, the build setup and everything that I saw on it was the Admotor Grand 10 M340. In this video, I'm gonna cover three things. Ease of setup, pros and cons, and then who the ideal rider is for this bike. You keep losing your foot in there, huh? And then pedal assist stops. So first off, assembly. This trike came to me in a very large box on a pallet, unloaded from the truck with a forklift. That said, it wasn't too hard to get into it, assemble it, put it together, and get it the way it looks now. It took attaching um, some of the things like the fenders, the basket in the front, installing the handlebars and the seat. And for my dad, I had swapped out pedals, and as you can see right now, I also, for my preferred riding, swapped out the seat. And this is the way my dad actually prefers it also. The seat with the back on it made it really difficult on hills and made it difficult to feel comfortable. It pushed you really forward on the bike. The back seat, this back is a little bit annoying. It pushes you forward. It's too close. So swapping out the seat is, or the saddle is something I highly recommend. That said, if you're not comfortable with receiving it on a pallet and the like, I recommend possibly having the bike shipped to your local shop and having a local mechanic put it together. Let's see, see if I can get up that hill. This is really rocky terrain. Oh, I'm losing traction. There we go. Success. Woohoo. So, pros and cons on this Grand Tan M340. It's sturdy, like really sturdy, heavy duty. The fork is typical of what you'd see on a lot of um, e-bikes. It's not made for major off-road, like I just took it on. But this thing is sturdy, it does well. My dad really likes the gear selection. Having the gear options really makes a big difference on a trike. Two things that I really like about it. One is, is the gears. So I kept it in about gear number six or seven. That and then pedal assist maybe three or four, so I got lots of exercise because you can pedal and you've got some resistance there at gear six and seven. So really like that. Some trikes that are out there, e trikes, because of the complexity, don't have gears, and this one does. It gives a lot of options and it makes it so you can make it so you get a good workout still with the bike, which is something that's important to my dad. It's also fast. The thing will go 
I've gone uphill like 17 miles an hour on a steep hill and this thing will just go, go, go. Mind you, on these rockier trains, it's a little more difficult, but it goes pretty dang fast. So what are the downsides to this bike? First off, this thing is big, like really big, and it makes it difficult to transport unless you have a trailer you can load it up in or a large flat hitch mount that you could load it on. Those are about the only two things that really will work. There aren't really any bike racks out there that fit this unless you want to have something custom made for you. Next up is the brake levers. So if your brake levers are just slightly out, it engages the cutoff for the, the pedal assist and for the throttle. So it makes it difficult to pedal unless you're paying attention to that. The last up is maintenance. So unless you're a really adept mechanic, a lot of the maintenance on this bike, with a lot of e-bikes, this is the case also, there's a lot to fix and a lot to worry about. And if you need maintenance on that, even just changing the tires is not going to be a simple, simple job. So those are kind of three of the downsides I see. Just how big it is, the brake issue that I've been having, and just maintenance isn't something the do-it-yourselfer can do. So last up, who is this bike for? Or this trike, rather. One thing that this doesn't fit well for my dad is one of those downsides. It's the mobility, moving it around. My parents like to travel a lot and they like to take their bikes with them. Because of the size of this trike, this makes it really difficult, really difficult for them. We looked for a lot of trailers and hitch mounts and bike racks, all kinds of different options, and really none of them fit them well. This bike is ideal for someone who's, because of that, is keeping it at home. Now, just like my father, my grandfather had mobility issues in his later days, and we're big outdoors people. My grandpa was, my great grandpa, my great great grandpa. Along the lines, we've all been outdoors. Up in the Yukon, searching for gold, to Boy Scout camping, all kinds of things, high activity level. Now, my grandpa in his later years um, still loved to fish, loved to get out into the outdoors. Because of his mobility issues, he was out on his electric wheelchair regularly, which wasn't very stable, didn't really help him much, and he loved to go fishing at a nearby lake. He could go there from his house along the sidewalks and the bike paths to get there. Something like this would have been ideal. The cargo space back here in, in the rear basket and the front basket. I mean, I could carry a chainsaw up here and do trail maintenance with this thing. It's awesome. It's got so much capacity. It is great for someone who is wanting to get out on those trails, want to have some exercise, and can do all of that from home, from your driveway. Now, it would work for someone who's willing to get a trailer or to get a hitch mount that will hold it. Um, but ideally, it is great for someone who wants to get out from their house, get some exercise, needs that extra stability and extra mobility that comes with an e-bike. It's perfect. For my grandpa, it would have been ideal. He would have loved it. He would load it up with his fishing gear, and it would have been just the fishing machine for him. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. It is totally different. It's a very different video but it's based on helping someone like my dad keep that outdoor exercise and activity that he loves. I hope you enjoyed it. For those of you that have found this through search, I hope you find it interesting. I'll put links to where you can purchase this bike in the description below. I'd like to thank Ad Motor for sending this bike out for review and making it possible for me to explore options to help my dad get out and ride his bike. So as always, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life, <laughs> like my dad, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. Get it in that middle groove. This is steep, by the way. It may not look it, but it is. <laughs>